going on guys? Lawson here. Got my buddy Zeke with me and today we're doing something very different. During this 30 day challenge I'm trying to do different things and listen to what you guys are requesting. There's always tons and tons of comments on my videos saying you need to do a catch and cook and by God that is what we're doing today but we're doing it a little differently. We are going diving and we're gonna do some spear fishing and try to spear some sheep's head to do a catch and cook this afternoon. It should be a good time. The tide is high, the water is nice and clear, and we had a company named Unigear kind enough to send us some masks and a dry bag to use, and we're going to be using their masks today and diving around and spearing some fish and just having a good time diving. And that is the game plan, and we're going to get after it. Just beach the boat, and we're going to swim about 20 yards down to our first spot. Now, the first spot, we're actually not going to spear fish. <laughs> Just gonna dive around because we're gonna be diving around a bridge, and you cannot legally dive around bridges that have fishing piers on them, or you can't legally spear fish around bridges with fishing piers on them. So, first one, just kind of dive, see what's down there. Maybe we'll see some grouper, snapper, reef fish, lots of cool saltwater exotics. So, we're gonna hop in, get geared up, and get going. It is dive time. We have really good clarity right now. We have just banked the boat up in the woods. Zeke is getting his GoPro ready. I'm getting the mask ready. Now these masks are very unique. Now these masks are very unique looking and I've actually really never seen masks like this before and they're super, super cool. And so it's cool they have 180 degrees of vision. I jumped in the pool and using mine just kind of test it out and it's almost weird because I've grown up diving more than I did fishing when I was younger. I dove and spearfished way more than I fished regularly. And so I've never used a mask like this where you have a complete like 180 degree view of everything where you don't have that weird like side blinders going on. So it's gonna be interesting to dive around and film with this. I'm very excited. I haven't dove, dive, divin, whatever the proper vernacular is. I haven't done it in a while. So I'm really excited to get into the water and swim around and then maybe try to spear some fish. It should be a good day. We're gonna hop on the GoPros and get at it. Hey. Oh, 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 super well because we got the waterproof casing on the GoPros, but we're chilling underneath the bridge. It has actually been a lot cooler than I thought it'd be. We've actually seen some really cool stuff like loads of snook, saw a giant stingray, starfish, every reef fish imaginable. We're sitting here on top of this bridge right now, or under the bridge on top of a wall, and we look down and there's like a five foot cuda swimming beneath us. I mean, just gnarly. You see them? That's a big barracuda. Thank <laughs> you. 
You might want to let go, ding it. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? sick just hopped out of the water from the first spot diving around the bridge I cannot believe how much cool stuff we saw down there I was honestly shocked I've dove at this bridge before when I was younger but it's probably been about five years since I've divin dove in <laughs> like five years since I've dove here that was really sick I mean it had to be what you think close to 500 snook underneath that bridge Oh, easily bro. easily 500 snook and most of them were like medium sized but I saw a few tanks like 40 inches swimming around down there saw some giant stingrays saw my precious baby jacks literally I think almost every fish you could see in salt water was swimming around down there so many reef fish saw a gag grouper when we first jumped in but that thing was so shifty Zeke you saw a hog fish right hog snapper. some little hog snapper like 12 inches. awesome dive right there kind of just getting our feet wet getting used to the mass so the next step we're going to move to the next spot and maybe look for some sheep's head and see if we can spear something and then we're going to keep diving around but i'm just enjoying swimming honestly Oh! <laughs> 
hit one, I, I shot one and he shook off. see me like scramble over the bushes to pin him to the floor because he was barely pierced. All right. Are you recording? Yeah. All right. Speared first sheep's head, probably about 15 inches, 16 inches. The legal size on them, they have to be at least 12 inches. He's well over that. Man, I'm a bit rusty spear fishing. It's been about two years since I've spear fished and I forgot how much fun it is. I missed one that I hit and the spear popped out. It didn't go all the way through, so he'll be all right, but then pinned this one, and I was like scrambling over the mangroves to make sure he stayed pinned. Awesome, we're gonna throw him in the cooler, and then Zeke is gonna grab the spear, because Zeke has actually never speared a fish before. If you're not aware of this, Zeke is from Chicago, and so he has never speared a fish before. So we're gonna throw the sheep's head in the cooler, give him the spear, and see if he can get a go. We are done with the diving portion. We're gonna go head back in and cook up some lunch huge shout out to unigear for hooking us up with the mask and the dry bag the masks are pretty cool they're perfect for snorkeling around if you want to kind of float around and swim and it was honestly pretty weird at first like being able to see out of both sides and the whole thing sealed so you can breathe out of your mouth and nose while you're diving it's very interesting you're not getting that like really salt water filled mouth while you're diving definitely really cool i'll leave some links below if you guys want to check them out anyways we are going to head in and fillet our sheep's head and start cooking some lunch for Zeke and I. All right, lunch has been served. So what we're dealing with here is pan fried sheep's head over a bed of rice with lemon butter garlic sauce. All homemade. Very simple meal, obviously pretty small, not super elegant, but it's all that we need. Plate for me, plate for Zeke. I appreciate you guys very much. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I know it's a lot different. There was no uh, actual fishing, only spear fishing and diving, but today was a lot of fun. Now, like I was saying earlier, I actually grew up doing more diving than I did fishing. Like, it's funny, this is an old photo I found right here of me at like, I don't know, seven years old, mass snorkel on. We, as a family, we used to dive all the time. That's like all we did was spear fish and dive. And I felt a little rusty today with the spear in hand, but it felt good to actually hit a fish and it was fun to get back into it. Let me know if you guys enjoy the diving videos, the spear fishing videos. Leave those comments below to let me know because I had a lot of fun today. If you guys enjoy them, we'll definitely do a lot more of them.